I'm gonna take the katana out of the scabbard, ready? Okay, what did you not hear? In every movie ever, when someone takes out their sword, you hear shing. Regular swords, they don't make that sound when you take them out. My name is Rob Rashi. I'm the owner of Sword Class NYC, one of the head instructors here. I'm here to check out some movies uh, about sword fighting, see what I think about them. We have 300. He's using a shield, but not really the way that it is supposed to be used. Basically using a lot of hacking thrusts here. Some impressive teamwork fighting. Not realistic, but impressive. Oh, he threw his sword. That's never a good idea. I love this movie but not for the sword fighting. What they're doing is they're skirmishing. They are running out into the enemy, basically not as a unit. The very short swords that they used were meant to be used in formation. And if they did use the sword, their swords were uh, more often used for thrusting between the gaps in the shield. Although super exciting and very cinematic, not in any way accurate to real sword fighting. Now we've got Kill Bill. I love this movie, so I'm pretty excited. She's using a long stance and then uh, lifting her sword up. Actually, that is a historical technique, using the blade to see all around you. <laughs> I love this. She's just carving her way through everyone here. Some very effective parrying. Now she has the high ground. See, now this is better because she's forcing them to come up one at a time. Something I do have to say here is I think Uma Thurman has a really impressive amount of training. She jumped up onto the balcony and forced them to come up one at a time. Uh, this is a strategy Miyamoto Musashi uh, used. He said if you fight more than two opponents, try to line them up so you only have to fight one at a time. So next we've got uh, Gladiator. All right, so he's doing one of those things that you always see in movies that you don't do, and that is hitting someone where they are armored. Now, I think this makes more sense to use two shorter swords. Okay, slicing across the arms in two different directions. Not sure how he actually achieved that cut. That last cut he did, he had two swords, and he went across his body like that. I know he was the last enemy on the field, but number one, you never want to find yourself in this position when you're in any fight, let alone a sword fight. Number two, in order to sever a head cleanly, you only need one sword to go in one direction. Going in two directions, you're making two cuts. You really have to get the blades super flat and almost crossing, touching each other as they go across. So I think that cut's pretty much impossible, but the crowd seemed to like it. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, using a hot sword. So this is a really bad idea too. I'll get to that later though. Oh, this is good. Always stop to talk to your opponent when uh, your swords are locked up. If I was fighting on a teeter-totter, I would get off the teeter-totter. That was a lot of fun. I think that's exactly what the filmmakers were going for, fun. When Will started fighting, he was using a red-hot glowing sword. It's not really gonna work well because the metal will bend or it will break. That said, I think they both did a pretty good job of using his environment, grabbing whatever he could find and chucking it. Using your surroundings to your advantage is absolutely a valid Tactic. Next we have Lord of the Rings, another movie I love. I like this little detail because before he jumps into the combat, he takes a moment to salute. He's taking this as a moment for himself and for his adversary. And now, going right into it. Okay, using a sword to cut out the legs, that's a valid tactic. Now one of the things that I like about this fight is they're not necessarily trying to kill him, they're try they have a different objective. Aragorn's objective is to stop them, so he might not be fighting in the same way. I love the books, I love the movies. Uh, however, it is guilty of a lot of sword fighting sins. Aragorn seems to be using his sword more like a club or a baseball bat. He's just kind of swinging it as hard as he can. There's a lot of them, so I get it. Generally, if someone's wearing armor, there's an entirely different way of using that long sword that he had. There's techniques called half sorting, gripping the sword halfway down the blade, using the sword more as a lever and a spear, stabbing into the weak points in their armor. I love how the swords are represented in this, but not the way they are used. 